I bought a vampire motorcycle, 1990, directed by Dirk Campbell, starring Neil Morrissey, Amanda Knorr, and Michael Elphick. A bike hobbyist purchases a motorcycle, which unbeknownst to him, has been possessed by a bloodthirsty demon. The second I heard the title of this film, I knew I had to feature it on the channel. It's got one of the best titles I've ever heard. It sounds like the headline from a Weekly World News article, which I grew up reading as a kid and loved. My biggest concern was that the titular motorcycle wasn't actually going to be a vampire though, especially because I've been burned by deceptive titles before. I'm happy to report that this motorcycle does, in fact, feed on the blood of people multiple times throughout the film, with a gas tank that even reads full after feeding on its victims. The cast give excellent performances here, especially Neil Morrissey who effectively carries the film in the lead role. The titular vampire motorcycle ends up being a fabulous horror villain as well. Stealing the scene when it's clearly being pulled into frame, or making its glorious transformation into a true machine from hell, complete with a broken headlight as its mouth. One of the things I love about British comedies is their mastery of deadpan humor. Everyone in this film plays it 100% straight in what is very much a situational comedy, giving the script and the premise room to be as ridiculous or as frightening as it wants to be. Anthony C-3PO Daniels is in this film too. He plays a priest, though I'm not sure if he's fluent in over 6 million forms of communication this time around. The makeup straddles the line between horror and comedy pretty effectively, providing laughs and carnage throughout the film. There's some pretty ridiculous deaths, but my favorite one had to be the scene where two bikers are beheaded during an attack on a biker gang. Research revealed that one of the co-writers of the script also worked on the scripts for the English dubs of multiple anime films and shows from the 80s and 90s, including Appleseed and Cyber City Oedo 808. Verdict? Highly recommended. Sink your teeth into this cinematic masterpiece. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.